the Williams pool match. Yes. It wasn't even a match. It was something else. It was nothing short of a miracle. It was the longest and arguably greatest game in tennis history. It was seven days in hell. Aaron Williams does not play country club tennis because he's from the streets. It was a reverse blindside. You know, a rich white family gets a black kid and makes him play football. Well, we flipped it. You see, my dad, he took a white kid and made him play tennis. Aaron Williams, you're known as the bad boy of tennis. I'm not going to apologize for the incidents in yesterday's match. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a streaker. What's going on? What's he doing to her? It's natural and it's beautiful. An Englishman hadn't won Wimbledon since 1937, so there was tremendous pressure on Charles. What's your overall strategy? I don't know what the word strategy means, Brian Gumbel. I'm not Brian Gumbel. I'm Soledad O'Brien. I'm at the wrong show. No, no, the name of the show is Real Sports with Bryant Gumbel. Yeah, yeah, indubitably, yeah. That was the queen. What did she want? She wanted me to win. Putting a tennis player in denim was the first in a series of bad choices. One point away from ending this outrageous seven-day match. Please end it. Please end it. Oh! Oh, jeez. If the pressure of winning Wimbledon wasn't enough, now he's got a dead body on his hands. Second serve now, after killing a man. <laughs> 